scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The way of the spiritual man is mysterious. Matthew chapter, John chapter 3 and verse 8. 3 and verse 8. The wind where it listeth and thou hearest the sound thereof thou cannot tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth so is everyone born of the spirit the way of the spiritual man you can't create a natural sequence to it there are times you will see him mysteriously rushing and there are times you will see him waiting and that wait can be one year two years and you are wondering what is it about your life and why the silence then god will bring 10 years in one month and put for you even so come yeshua come even so Come and take your bride away How my soul longs to see your face My love, even so Even so Come Yeshua, come We're calling the Lord of the harvest We need him like never before even so, come Yeshua, come. Even so, take your bride away. How my soul longs to see your face, my Lord. Even so. of joy and our strength shall be restored as we wait upon the Lord listen my first encounter with the power of God please sit down I used to go every night and just pray and just pray and return back every night and just pray and return back every night and just pray i used to watch benny him that time and i would see this man come to minister and just stand and people are rising from wheelchairs the power of god it was like a mirage i said how could a man host god to this dimension i had the privilege to have some old cds of generals and people and i would listen and watch them and say my goodness what is this such spectacular display of the investment of the spirit upon a man i continued every day i did not know that every day and every time of prayer 
was like a spiritual register you were signing because if the cloud be full of rain rain does not happen until there is sufficient evaporation and condensation biology teaches us that one night i remember clearly there was a dear lady i was praying and there were other people who used to pray then we used to call it lawn tennis courts then in zari and abu there and then a lady came and this lady came to i don't know what brought her to seek counsel for something i don't know i can't even remember the lady and i remember i just stood in front of her and my hands began to shake i had barely lived I, I just lifted my hands and this lady was like a pack of card on the ground i was almost afraid i said i hope this lady did not enjoy herself the way she fell as though she was dead she got up again and then i started seeing spectacular manifestations of the spirit of god i said this is the same thing i saw happen to people and then i remember that the same lord is rich unto all that if you will pay the price of alignment obtaining grace from the spirit to walk in keeping with the conditions that make for power nothing then robs you from carrying genuine authentic spiritual power you can walk with god to a point where he will give you the keys of nations and give you the keys of territories that you can command dominion over nations and territories you will not look like it except that it was given that you will speak and kings will respond because the word of the lord is upon your lips let me tell you prayer is powerful in preparing you to be an effective witness today i thank god for the privilege of the preparation and compared to where i'm going he's still preparing me and i'm grateful and i have obtained grace to remain and to stay until we are built and furnished for that harvest can i tell you in our lifetime we will see nations saved in one day because there will be such spectacular demonstrations of our witness the lord himself will move upon us and move through us and move in us and bring nations at a standstill did that not happen to joshua in the bible do not belittle yourself there are people in this end time who will carry wealth equivalent to gdp of nations and by that wealth they will bring nations to their feet in one day but the training of every witness is intrinsically the same but we will give ourselves continually at chapter 6 and verse 4 to the word and the ministry of the word and prayer no matter what you are called to do called to be you cannot do it without submitting yourself methodically to the ministry of the word and to prayer pray without ceasing to immerse yourself in the word in fellowship and in partnership with this lord of the harvest as he reveals your how per season per moment per level the reason why we are bold to do and say the things that god is doing through us is because we receive the how there is no fear moses if he told you how he already told Moses Pharaoh will harden his heart so when Pharaoh was acting like a beast Moses was not surprised he didn't leave disappointed it was part of the how but by a great and mighty hand in one day he brought the nation of Israel something that 430 years of captivity and murmuring and complaining could not do one day do you believe God can use you that much do you believe God can walk with you that much? Do you believe God can trust you with the grace and the anointing for nations and territories? You don't have to be a preacher alone. Some of you here, my dear worship people, God can give you one song that becomes a revival anthem for nations. A song you did not compose. A song that came through the place of prayer. Most of the songs you hear me sing, I'm not a musician. No. You should know that by now. 
but there is a way you can release your spirit and in the realm of the spirit you will tap through spiritual frequencies and bring songs that don't die because they were not they were not framed from this realm holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. These are some of the spiritual songs that come from the place of the Spirit. Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, Moses. Let me tell you how this song came. I was caught up in the realm of the Spirit one time. And I was hearing the angelic choir singing this song. That's how I came with it. I didn't write it. Lion of Judah, the lamb upon the throne, we hail you most high. hear me we're going to pray let me find somewhere to wrap up I already begin I'm beginning to sense a very strong anointing here so we'll find somewhere to pray the end time army has a three formation strategy the end time army has a three formation strategy number one the first formation of the end time army is the emergence of prophetic intercessors write it down the first strategy for the end time army is a sudden emergence from every church every region every nation of ordinary people like pastor was saying some of them uneducated some of them inexposed but men and women who have found grace with god an emergence of prophetic intercessors ezekiel chapter 22 from verse 30 and 31 30 and 30 i sought for a man among them that he should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that i should not destroy it but i found none verse 31 therefore i have poured out my indignation upon them i have consumed them with the fire of my wrath their own way have i recompensed upon their head said the lord i sought for a man there are men who single-handedly will carry the spiritual burden of nations and literally manipulate the events of nations to line up with divine prophecy from their room you don't have to sit on the throne to be a king there are many people sitting on thrones today that are not in power. Prophetic intercessors. You will see an emergence from your church, prayer groups, prayer camps, women of prayer, prophetic intercessors, those who will even get born again late and you will think God cannot do anything much with them until you see mama at 80 praying for eight hours generating energy from the bowels of our spirit this is the first formation of this end time army right for reference isaiah 52 from verse 1 and 7 1 to 7 isaiah 52 1 to 7 the emergence of prophetic intercessors awake awake put on thy strength O zion Oh, beautiful garments you know Jerusalem and all of that so you read it we're not going to read it for time's sake but that 
God himself is planting his raising prophetic intercessors and let me tell you some of you the reason why God drew you to participate in this prayer and fasting program is to help you reveal your ministry to you some of you did not even know that you were called into the ministry of prophetic intercession where God will answer you by saying Libya and you will hear from him for the next three months that becomes your prayer project every night and suddenly you hear that there is such a move of the spirit happening in Libya most people do not understand intercession let me tell you the life of an intercession is a strange life ask Anna the prophetess in fact out of all the ministries of Jesus the one he still kept today is the ministry of the intercessor that he's still seated at the right hand of the father and still making intercession for the saints the moment intercession is in place there is no limit to what the holy spirit can do there is no limit you think the holy spirit cannot save people you begin to intercede you think the holy spirit cannot invade nations begin to intercede pray ye that you will send the lord of the harvest that is the first formation pray don't assume the lord of the harvest has come pray pray number two the second formation of this end time army are the ones i call the sent ones the sent ones the sent ones the sent ones matthew 10 16 the sent ones behold i send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves therefore because you are sheep in the midst of wolves he says be wise as serpents and harmless as doves this is the only place in scripture where we see God recommending that you study a serpent as a strategy for survival a serpent has always been an animal or a creature that is 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 laden with deception every time you hear serpent it always connotes satan or evil but it says now i'm releasing you into the cosmos because you are sheep among wolves i hope you know that a sheep does not have a horn the only means of defense is the wisdom it gets from the shepherd other animals can fight but the sheep cannot fight if it ignores the wisdom and the instruction of the shepherd a sheep's security is in the ministry of the shepherd while shepherds watch their flocks by night so every time it is night the flock must depend on the shepherd to watch them it is night time right now in our world every sheep must listen to their shepherds the chief shepherd is willing to watch his flock by night I send you a sheep among wolves how does a sheep stay in the midst of wolves have you ever seen watch National Geographic natural wild and you will see that any time a, a sheep is a universal prey for any wild beast is that true whether lion leopard hyena cheetah whatever the moment they see a sheep there are some animals allergic to others they don't eat them but not a sheep a sheep is a choice delicacy for any any wolf or whatever it is and he says i send you a sheep that means if a wolf sees you no negotiation no destruction no discussion the assignment is to steal to kill and to destroy he says therefore be as wise as serpents do you know what this means this is now the balance because i just mentioned prophetic intercessors they don't need wisdom they just need diligence to stay with the spirit and pray but if you find yourself among the sent ones you will need more than prayer you will now need to borrow the concept from cosmos that is what it means to be as wise as a serpent that means don't be like the serpent but you can borrow the formula and the strategy you are a businessman you have prayed 
but don't it is not a crime to listen to warren buffett you are borrowing the strategy they are unbelievers but there are principles they have that make things work in the cosmos he says be wise as the serpent that means you have to interact with them you may need to study their materials you may need to submit to mentorship under their wisdom and their schools however remember you are a sheep you are only borrowing from a serpent for efficiency are you getting the point now now this is where this second group of people have missed it a lot there are many Christians failing in business inefficient as far as their duties are concerned and their excuse is spirituality there are many people who will come and tell you God called me to be a great CEO they know nothing about finances leadership administration excellence they have not learned Jesus himself preparing to be sent forth went to the temple to study things that he was coming to abolish and bring to an end so why did he study it then there are people by reason of this teaching you may need to go and get further certifications to prepare you to be efficient there are people by reason of this teaching you may need to go and subscribe to secular mentorship under very intelligent people with proven records that is why first things first god deals with you to prepare your heart so that even when you are there among wolves you are not corrupted not by their language not their way of life if you are daniel how will you reign if you ignore babylon if you are joseph how will you reign if you run away from Pharaoh because they worship the god of egypt so many believers do not understand relational principles and you will be in an environment where you are the only child of god in the if you have to mention jesus to demonstrate the life of christ you are not a true christian there is a dimension of your life that can reflect Jesus even without you saying it. Be wise as serpents. Imagine a sheep goes somewhere and stands in the midst of wolves and say, I am a, a sheep. I don't care. I believe that. I, I won't tell lies. I can't tell these lies. What happens to him? He would die not because the shepherd is not strong. He ignored the advice of the shepherd. He says, be wise as there are many things about a serpent to learn the first is that all animals when they kill their when they kill their prey they still leave traces and evidences but a serpent swallows the digestion happens inside so you do not even know what it ate until you catch it at that point and then where it kills is different from where it eats these are all strategies to learn a serpent will sting and be patient and the animal will run somewhere in the bush then it will go and quietly eat it alone and climb up a tree and hang there for three months until the digestion happens what kind of creature without legs cannot run with the laser speed of a cheetah does not have the ability to dig holes yet every other most animals including especially human beings fear it more than that there are people who will run away you will run away from a dog even if he wants to bark you you'll be bold and you'll fight it but once you see that creature no legs it does not even have many points where it can sting only a, a small projection and yet you run away so what is it what attitude it's afraid of you but it gives you an impression that it will not run away from you be wise that means even when you are threatened by something in the presence of cosmos you never show fear you return to your secret place that's where you say lord behold your threatenings and grant your servant that through your holy hands uh, you don't cry before them uh -uh. you stand strong and stand bold you can now cry before the lord lord this person is using divination clearly and he has vowed to destroy me i have defended you standing in truth protect your name upon my life and then the bible says the holy ghost fell upon them they were filled with faith and courage again and you return back to the office and god takes responsibility for your defending his name be wise as serpents is someone learning we need to bring this balance in church there are people who during office hours the most productive period they just hold their hands and they start praying 
they are praying and shouting whereas the company is losing millions and thousands of naira and dollars and they will sack you and throw you away you have ignored the wisdom of the shepherd there are prophetic intercessors you are in the temple oh honor the prophetess so any time is valid pray without restraint and roll on the ground but now when you are a sheep among wolves you have to study how wolves behave this is not compromise this is adaptation let's wrap up is it three o'clock am i right on that oh dear okay the last group the last strategy Haggai chapter 1 from verse 4 these are called kingdom financiers please listen I'm revealing to you the tripartite formation of the end time army the first group prophetic intercessors the second group the sent ones the ones who will directly invade cosmos and institutionalize the consciousness of God in the hearts of men and across every strata of human activities but the third they are called kingdom financiers Haggai 1 4 to 8 is it time for you O ye to dwell in your sealed houses and this house lie waste now therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts consider your ways ye have sown much listen and bring in little ye eat but have not enough ye drink but are not filled with drinks ye clothe you but there is none warm and he that earneth wages earneth wages to put it in a bag with holes seven thus saith the lord consider your ways he said go up the mountain and bring wood and build the house and i will take pleasure in it and i will be glorified keep that scripture there don't assume you've read it let's look at it carefully the first instruction is not to bring wood it tells you where the wood is found where is it found up the mountain do you find wood on the mountain you find wood in the forest but he says this kind of wood you have to enter a system where exchange happens the mountain is not only the place of buying and selling remember when exchange was going to happen between satan and jesus he took jesus up the mountain into in fact and said let's exchange there so he's saying for this group of people you want to bring the wood that builds my house master the art of going up the mountain he says don't return empty-handed you are going there with an anointing you are going there with products and services you are going there with creativity mountains represent spheres of influence he says go up the mountain there is a particular mountain where you find wood he says bring wood from there use that wood you have brought to build me a house and i will be glorified listen this is a prophetic word for someone here you may not even know what has driven your passion for financial prosperity you have prayed prayed and repented and felt guilty because people have made you feel that this is my passion for money is it that i'm obsessed is it carnality i'm interpreting it for you it is the burden of a financial apostle there is something upon your life looking for you and he's saying go up the wood apostle you don't know how many times i've failed in business don't worry you didn't attend this program that's why now that you are here when he tells you go up the mountain and bring wood it means you did not go empty-handed there must be something you carried that will help you to fell that wood and to bring it down and then to come and use it to build a house go up the mountain for someone you have been ignoring this instruction that's why all the resources that is supposed to have funded the work of God that's why pastors today have stopped the work of preaching and are begging around for money why because somebody has refused to do his assignment 
if somebody had gone up the mountain to bring wood you can say pastor i'm overriding this this budget for one year let's focus on the ministry of the word and prayer let there be no limitation whatsoever without bragging and making noise many people accuse pastors of financial compromises on one hand i blame them but on another hand they are doing the assignment of someone who has failed is someone hearing for some of you that's why god brought you to abuja you are now in the mountain but you have refused to learn the art of cutting that wood the house of god has not been built the program of god has not been advanced and there are others who went up the mountain and brought wood and ran away from the house of god they received the empowerment to rise up the mountain and because they were not mentored they just believed that every man of god is fake who talks about money believers must be mentored to understand the purpose of the kingdom well god has given them that god empowers us for three principal reasons number one to live a comfortable life number two to provide financial resources for kingdom advance it's not a favor it is a responsibility for every witness who understands god's program and who loves him sincerely it should not be something that happens at a special moment it should be part of the mentorship construct of every witness in islam they are taught by default the wealthy people know that as god blesses you whether you are a serious muslim or not there is, there has to be a portion of your resources for the propagation and and, and 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 with respect to that agenda that is a beautiful understanding let me tell you the truth the kind of wealthy believers we have in this city in this nation the body of christ should not have any reason to be in want believe me i know what i'm saying now it doesn't mean to sit down and keep claiming people's things we must take responsibility but the key is to educate and enlighten believers to understand that as god blesses you listen this is all of you how much how many foods can you eat how many cars can you drive god cannot be giving you a billion dollars just for yourself you are smarter than that how much will you spend in your lifetime if you travel every day how many nations are in the world there must be an agenda bigger than that when he gave you the gold from egypt it's because you will build him the house in the wilderness never forget the purpose of the gold. you can use the gold to do two things to build an image and say this god brought me out of egypt or to build the house of the lord whether it's for god or satan you will build an image eventually whether an image of a god or an image of jesus christ for some of you here i know you are prayer warriors for some of you here you have received prophetic words from the man of god laboring now i'm god sees my heart i'm teaching you truth from the word there are many of you here it is possible that none of you has come with a seed i'm not talking of you are in trouble and you want to tap to come out that's different Because there are many believers who once you see piles of seeds it is because they are coming to negotiate and there is a place for that but I mean maturity spiritual maturity to know that this is part of the blessings of the Lord that from January till now the Lord opened doors for me 200 million 300 million and you take something and bring to the man of God I honor you as my prophet and I honor you for the grace of God I see it as a responsibility to see that you are never in want while you feed me as a kingdom responsibility not coercion not manipulation are we together yes I made up my mind from when koinonia started and even until now I prayed and I said Lord give me the privilege to be the highest giver for many years in this ministry I, I stand by the God of heaven and I'm telling you this kingdom financiers go up the mountain bring wood build God a house there are people today who have been able to raise when I got to find out how much 
money went in circulation during the election period primaries and the rest I just said oh dear Lord God of heaven how many churches how many mission agencies how many platforms that can mentor and build and bless people I said Lord there has to be a strategy out of this thing please empower those who love you and know you and have the integrity to walk in truth and righteousness but there are people some of you have failed in your assignment that's why it looks like we are limited God is calling you by this program it's time to go up the mountain go up the mountain is not to hustle go up the mountain is not to carnally move just trying to make sure you make money anyhow you will end up in jail if you take that so that way remember the Lord of the harvest again back to him to walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise for some of you you will need to find a financial mentor with proven track records to guide you and help you and show you some of you will need to unlock the potentials from within your spirit and come up with superior products and services yesterday when i was done teaching our school of ministry students one lady walked up to me she now sells jewelries i met her last year when i went to preach for a redeemed church and she told me that she had this vision and she kept seeing the 12 stones that represent the 12 tribes of israel 12 you know topaz all those stones and from that she kept praying i told her to keep praying until God speaks to her and in the place of prayer she had the idea to start a jewelry business she now brought all the 12 stones she's converted all of them now to superior jewelry she runs a jewelry store I looked at it it was so beautiful pure gold pure the 12 stones you know she had converted it into a business I just lifted one that looked like I'll throw it up I said how much is this when she told me the amount I wanted to say I was almost saying back to sender for what this this thing I mean women you know what I'm talking about I mean you just pick that thing I won't tell you how much but ah that's an amount that um, you need faith to even hear but then I was praying for her and she just came to show me to say that which I saw it has become this now it is now she's ready for the anointing for favor are you seeing now she's ready for the anointing for visibility now I can pray and the anointing can find a place because she's expanded and prepared vessels and oh dear did I pray I prayed with all my heart Lord open the gates of the nations for her she now deals directly with Dubai some of these guys that make it for her and you know has customized her own collection tomorrow this lady will dress kings and will bring the money and remember and say it was you I came to meet the person who brings the child is the person who brings back the child too if he dies so don't run away from the prophet just because you have a child remember something can happen to the child if you lose your relationship with Elisha the has he may even though he holds the rod of Elisha he may not be able to bring the child back the one who prophesied the arrival of the child be wise enough to maintain that relationship so that the day something happens you can still return is someone learning this is already a prophetic word for someone there are many in the body of Christ who receive prophetic words men of God will pray pray and fast upon them as God blesses them and that child is born off they go they run away they are sarcastic they they talk and act as if men of God are a nuisance and then the day the child dies Gehazis will come holding a rod it may even be Elisha's rod and you will be surprised because it was not about the rod it was about the state of the heart and the covenant with God are we together now watch this for these three categories of people more than your physical preparation when you understand your place whether as a kingdom financier as one who enters the system as a sent one or one who funds the efficiency of that army or all it is possible to have all the tripartite assignments are we together now yes 
according to Matthew 25 God can take away the talent of an inefficient person and add it to one who multiplied it well so it is possible to start out just as an evangelist and be surprised that 10 years into your ministry the assignment of a kingdom financier has been added because someone failed and his bishopric cannot be left like that there are many people today who you will see transitions in their mode of operation in ministry their faithfulness has earned them the right to carry other spiritual responsibilities for all of the categories you will need empowerment this is where we find a resting place and even to pray hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you